The question is if, you know, just pray for a short time, a very short prayer, does it mean there's no anointing? Kuomba tu kwa muda kidogo haimaanishi kwamba huyo mtu hana upako. It depends on how open your heart is. Inategemea umefungua vipi moyo wako. If you have strong anointing, kama uko na upako wa nguvu, you can pray for a few seconds and people experience the Holy Spirit. Unaweza omba kwa sekunde chache na watu wanahisi Roho Mtakatifu. I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. Nataka kuonyesha muda mchache. That the Holy Spirit can come very quickly. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu aweza kukuja haraka. When your heart is very open. Kama moyo wako umefunguka. Now and then how about people, you know, a general Christian when they pray short prayer, je itakuwa vipi sasa kwa wale wa Kristo ambao wa Kristo wote wale wanaoombanga maombi fupi? It depends on how open the heart is. Inategemea moyo wako umefunguliwa vipi. The person may say God you're so good. Mtu anayesema kwamba Mungu wewe ni mwema. I love you. Nakupenda. That prayer the prayer already has power. Tayari hiyo maombi iko na upako na nguvu. If the person just say, I'm sick, please heal me. Na mtu wakisema tu kwamba mimi ni mgonjwa niponye. Now God will hear the prayer. Mungu watasikia maombi. But we notice that people, because of the problems in the heart. Na tunumegundua kwamba watu baada ya kuwa na matatizo katika nyoyo zao. Some people always burdened. Watu wengi wako mebeshu wa mizigo mizito. When they pray, they seem that, it seems that the problems are not solved. Wakati wanapo oma, oma, wanaonekana kwamba haya matatizo yetu haya haya aituachi and they don't have peace or comfort. Na sasa hawana amani, hawana kule kufarijika because the heart is not open. Manake moyo haujafunguliwa. So some people also pray without faith. Sasa watu wengine wanaomba pasipokuwa na imani. They say, God, where are you? Wanasema nyasaye uliena. Why don't you help me? Mbona haunisaidii? They are doubting God. Hawa sasa wanaomba maombi ile ya kubahatisha kwa Mungu. When people have that hearts. Kama watu wako na roho kama hizo, it's hard for them to experience God's blessing. Ni vigumu kwa hao kuhisi baraka za Mungu. Now how come people who don't have good relationship with God cannot receive much blessings? Ni kwa nini watu ambao hawana uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu hawawezi wakapata baraka nyingi za Mungu? You can think of your heart, waweza fikiria moyo wako. There is a pipe connected to God. Ni kama kuna mtambo ambao umeunganisha na Mungu. If the pipe is very wide, kama huu mtambo uko na upana mkuu, your heart is very open. Moyo wako umefunguka and you hunger for God na uko na njaa kwa ajili ya Mungu. Even a short time, hata kwa wakati mchache, you can experience great work of God. Waweza hisi kazi kuu ya Mungu. But if people have very little faith, lakini wale watu ambao wako na imani haba and they doubt na sasa wako na na kubahatisha and they say that God is not fair to me na wanasema kwamba ai huyu Mungu sio mwema kwangu God still wants to bless them Mungu bado anataka kuwabariki but God's blessing cannot flow through lakini kwa sababu ya ile shimo ni ndogo baraka za Mungu haziwezi zikaingia in John chapter 5 katika Yohana mlango wa 5 it talks about the man who was sick for 38 years inazungumza kuhusu mtu aliyekuwa mgonjwa kwa miaka 8 and Jesus healed him na Yesu akamponya and Jesus said sin no more lest the worst thing will come to you Yesu akamwambia usitende dhambi mara tena mpa Sin no more usitende dhambi tena jambo kama hili lisije likakutendekea tena Because when people continue in sin, manake watu wanapoendelea kutenda dhambi, they cannot they're not connected to God. Hawawezi wakakuwa na muunganiko na Mungu. And God's blessing cannot come to him. Na baraka za Mungu haziwezi kawajia. And he was giving uh, Satan a foothold. Na sasa atakuwa anaichia na shetani ma njia za kuingia. And Satan can make his life even worse. Na sasa shetani anaweza akafanya maisha yako yakakuwa na shida kabisa. So when we pray it's very important that we believe God really loves us. Wakati tunapoomba ni la muhimu tukaombe tukisema kwamba kwa kweli Mungu anatupenda. Faith is saying when God works I can relax. Ikuwa na imani kusema kwamba wakati Mungu anafanya kazi mimi naweza nikatulia. Faith is not saying oh God I want more faith. Oh, kuwa na imani ama kuomba kwa imani sio kusema kwamba oh Mungu nipe imani nataka imani kubwa. Faith is saying when you work I don't worry. 
Imani ni kusema kwamba kama Mungu unafanya kazi mimi sijali. I can relax and trust in you. Naweza pumzika nikiwa ndani yako. You know we have a good God. Unajua tuko na Mungu mwema. So we don't have to worry about anything. Kwa hivyo hatufai tuwe na shauku na chochote. And then when you pray, na wakati unapoomba, you say God will bless me. Useme Mungu atanibariki. Then you will experience joy, joy and peace. Na sasa unaanza kuhisi amani na furaha. Now as for as for the solving of the problems. Na sasa katika kutatua matatizo Sometimes you know even Christians who love God will go into difficulties. Unajua wakati mwingine hata wale wa Kristo ambao wanampenda Mungu kwa dhati wanakuwa na shida. Not because God doesn't love us. Sio kwamba Mungu hatupendi. It's because of difficulties in life. Ni kwa sababu ya ugumu wa maisha and persecution. Na yale mateso. Like Paul, kama Paulo, he was persecuted. Yeye aliteswa. It doesn't mean he lost the love of God. Haimaanishi kwamba alipoteza upendo wa Mungu. But Christians in the midst of suffering lakini wa kristo wakiwa katikati ya matatizo they can have joy and strength to face the difficulties hawawezi wakakuwa na furaha na nguvu za kukabiliana na yale matatizo and when the time comes God will solve the problem na sasa ujue kwamba wakati wa mungu ukifika atakuja na akakusaidia yale matatizo so it all depends on faith how we pray kwa hivyo inategemea na imani yetu jinsi tuna jinsi tuombavyo but generally long prayer help us to concentrate on the lord for longer time lakini kwa ujumla sasa maombi yale marefu huwa yatusaidia tunakuwa na ushirika na mungu kwa muda the person have same amount you know same faith mtu ambaye ako na imani ya, ya kutosha and one pray for a long time and pr- one prays for a short time wale watu kama ni watu wawili na wako na imani ya kutosha mmoja akiomba kwa muda na mwingine akiomba kiufupi then for sure the person praying for a longer time will receive a stronger anointing sasa ile imani ya mtu ambaye anaomba kwa muda <coughs> atapokea upako wa nguvu kuliko huyu mtu mwingine ambaye anaomba kwa muda mchache Okay but it doesn't deny that short prayer sometimes can have strong anointing. Lakini hatukatai kuhusu maombi mafupi manake wakati mwingine pia iko na upako wa nguvu. When you pray at home it's best that you can pray as long as you can. <coughs> Unapoomba mahali ambapo haufinyiki unaweza ukaomba kwa muda mrefu jinsi unauwezeshwavyo. And avoid watching TV. Na sasa uachane na mambo ya kutazama TV ama runinga and spend more time loving God and meditating on the word of god chukua muda wako mwingi kwa kumpenda mungu na kulitafakari neno la mungu and when you pray do not be burdened na unapoomba usibebeshwe mizigo but say god is loving me lakini useme mungu unanipenda god is blessing me mungu ananibariki hallelujah hallelujah and when we experience the peace na sasa unahisi amani say great god is blessing me unasema mungu mkuu anibariki zaidi hallelujah hallelujah 